Hey, you guys. How's it going? It is Friday. I look tired. I feel tired. I am tired. So, I'm home with the children. Minus one, of course. I'm not, baby. And I got one over here. Look at the bubble before it pop. Playing with slime. <laughs> Do you just really love playing with slime? Yeah. Oh God. So that's what I have one doing. Ooh, I got a magazine from Ulta. Mama, can I get some gum? Uh, yeah. Where is it? I'm thinking my car. I'm trying to think the last time I vlogged. Oh, it was the day of Naya's party. Well, some of y'all. My teacher asked me about your wedding yo, yesterday. Your teacher what? Hey, my teacher asked me about your wedding. What she want to know? She asked me, did you already have it? Oh. So, um, the last time I vlogged was the day of Naya's party. Now, Naya did not vlog. I did, mean, but I didn't vlog enough. Oh, you did? I did. Mama, you was in the kitchen when I started the vlog. Girl, I wasn't paying attention. You so when you say you didn't vlog enough, like how much did you vlog? I'm um, only vlog the um part when we were in the kitchen in the intro. Oh yeah, intro. And then the happy birthday, y'all son's happy birthday. Oh okay. So, well, she didn't vlog enough to um do a YouTube vlog on their channel, but um. Her party went well. All kids left on time. Unlike Yanni's friends, when she has her parties, don't nobody want to leave on time. I made sure I told everybody they leaving. Leaving. When Smart girl. Leave. Smart girl. So I end up wearing this wig to the white party. It was really cute. I mean, it was all the curls was going one way, or the flat ironness was going one way. Now stuff is flipped and flopped, and I had a little bit of baby hairs going on. So, uh, yeah, so like I said, I was wearing this wig, and the dress I ended up wearing was the dress that um, Terrence proposed to me in, and it was really cute, still fit. I mean, the, the, the back part where the booty is, it was kind of raising up a lot higher because that booty done got a little more big because, you know, I gained a little more weight. So, um, that was the only thing. And, um, yeah, the other one I couldn't do. I don't know. I might wear that one to my bridal shower. I don't know. I might wear it to my bridal shower. Um, Your brother's shower. I said my bridal shower. So, um... Tomorrow we go meet with the DJ to go over like our song selections, like for me to walk out to the bridal party, you know, stuff like that. And it's a long list. I meant to print it out today at work and it I totally forgot. So I might go over my dad's in the morning, which I think I will go to my dad's in the morning and print that off. Um, because right now it's on my phone and I mean, it's not you can't really see everything you got to scroll up because it's on the phone so i want to print it off and just have the papers in hand but we're meeting with him tomorrow hey son quit quit yelling and um i guess knock all that out i really need to think of more songs that i want like as far as what we walking out to when we hit do our like reception entrance because we kind of discuss what we want to like dance to i kind of have an idea like i'm pretty sure know what i want to walk out to and stuff like that so so much which i am gonna vlog some tomorrow hopefully he doesn't mind being on camera if he does then uh the dj if he does then um i don't know i probably won't vlog that part but the dj that we are going with if some of y'all want to know is DJ Sleepy Beats in Kansas City, Missouri. I do really appreciate all the people that offered um, DJs that they knew of or gave me names and recommendations and things like that. I really, really do appreciate it. So, um, 
So yeah, that was really cool. Y'all, excuse me, don't mind me. I got some lashes on, some lashes off. They actually stayed on for a good two and a half weeks. But baby, it's time to either put some more on or take the rest of these off. I think it's like three on this eye, maybe four on this eye. I told myself I want to try to vlog every day in June. I don't want to make promises. I know I did good for Vlogmas, but I want to try to do it for June, especially on this channel. Um, I have like videos to do on my main channel. And um, yeah, so I, I'm, I don't want to make a promise, but I want to try. I really want to try. I know I say I'm busy and this, this and that. Like the kids start summer school Monday and it's just going to be so chaotic and hectic because it's like they got out of school yesterday. Their last day of school was yesterday. Um, what was it? May 31st. No, it was Tuesday. It was the day before you. No, yo. no, yesterday. Yesterday was your last day. It was. You just didn't go. Yeah, you just didn't go to school. You just didn't go. But it was the last day yesterday. So, um, that was their official last day. But some of the kids went. Some of the kids didn't. TG didn't go. Yanni didn't go. And Talik didn't go to daycare. He stayed home. I'm just home. saying it was two days ago. Well, okay. So, um, let me see your hand. Let me see your hand. Go like this. It don't hurt or nothing, do it? No. Okay. So, um, now they're officially off. And now they go to summer school on June 4th. So, they didn't even really get a break. I felt like when I, the one time I did go to summer school, granted I was in high school when I went. And I went just because. Hi. <laughs> Are your teeth starting to grow back yet? Let me see. No, we're going to be snagging too fresh. No, they coming in. No, my teeth ain't coming in. So, ooh. So, I remember getting like a week off before I had to go back to summer school. Maybe even two weeks. They just got out and are going back on Monday. I just realized that. They got their bus schedules. Like, Sunday night, you're going to be going to sleep early. So, because you have summer school for second grade, and he's going to a different school than his school he normally goes to. Stop, baby. So, um, Terrence, stop it, okay? <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's going to be interesting. He has to ride the school bus by himself. Mm -hmm. Normally, Keela would be on the bus with him, uh -huh. but now TJ's going to be on the bus by himself. Uh -huh. And I mean, I kind of feel like some type of way. Granted, his dad is gonna make sure he gets on the bus because um, his bus, you know, comes before his dad has to leave for work and stuff. But it's just like my baby has to get on the bus by himself. But he's a big boy. He's getting older. He's going to second grade, and then Yanni will be home to get him off the bus. So, and she was kind of upset because, like I said, she's not here. But when i signed her from summer school because she really doesn't even none of the kids really have to go at all they just wanted to go because they felt like their summer was gonna be boring but um i mean they would have done something last year they went to camp and stuff but um yanni she had the option because she'll be in high school to go a full day of summer school or do like a half a day so she could either go in the morning for a couple hours or so and go or go in the afternoon well, she got her <laughs> she got her schedule stuff and her bus route and her bus is scheduled to come at six in the morning. Well, six thirty in the morning, and she, her release to drop off is at two something. So she realized she has a full day, which I don't think they guaranteed you a, a half a day, but they give that as an option. And she got stuck with the full day, so she kind of stop it, baby. So she kind of felt a certain kind of way, but I said, hey, you wanted to go to summer school? There you have it. And she has fun classes she's doing anyway. She's just trying to get extra credit uh, so she doesn't have to take certain classes her ninth grade year. Well, even though she's going to ninth grade in summer school. Or whatever. So, um, yeah. But 
that's really that's all that's been going on t phrase is where at work of course the man is a hard working man making sure his family is straight i know he be tired though because i don't know if i can work as much as him do you think you could work as much as your daddy mm -hmm. you could are mm -hmm. oh, you gonna be just like your daddy a strong working man working with me what what'd you say i'm gonna be in football you're gonna be in football yes that's what you're gonna be when you grow up a football player <laughs> Woo! you're gonna be a professional yep. yeah but you, every time i feel like the ball's gonna hit my face you think the ball's gonna hit your face it's yeah a, that's why it's I a chance play, that's why i don't know play flag, flag football well that's where you start off but it is really a good chance that the football can hit you in the face so it's something that you're gonna have to get ready for and deal with yeah. but so, you'll be okay. okay this handsome face won't get get destroyed <laughs> <laughs> okay y'all let me show y'all something so we got this swimming pool from Terrence's dad kids was hyped they couldn't wait to get it look at it now can you see it's on the ground not up high anymore all the tubes and stuff is still attached to it the filter and all that we have the cover over it the swim cover um the pool cover over it i should say yeah we we have all that covered like the night of the party the girls were in there having a ball to where the boys can't get in that pool without like life vest or floaties on because the pool is 10 feet around and you will look at this pool and be like, oh, that pool ain't high. For this pool, like, the girls, when they stood up in it, um, it came to what, about your knees? Above your knees? But when they set up, sat down in the pool, because everyone was able to sit in the pool, right? It was about how many of y'all in the pool? Six. Like six or seven? Um, it came up to their chest and chin. So, if TJ and Talik were to get in this pool, which Terrence said he thinks he might just go buy another one because there's a, a hole in this one, and that's how we figured out what happened. But it's a really nice size pool for the kids to have until, you know, we buy a home and if we ever get a pool, which I don't know about that. But it's a really nice size, and I think these are like 50 or 60 bucks. But if the boys were to sit in that, they'd be, they would drown. It would cover the tops of their heads. That's how much it, and it took literally like two hours, about two or so hours for Terrence to fill this pool up. Maybe almost three hours. Was it two hours? Like it takes a lot of water and it's still water in it. I ain't touched it because the filter stuff is still attached to it, the pump, all kind of stuff. So. Terrence can handle that. Maybe he can pour the rest of the water out and do whatever tomorrow when he gets, um, well, he'll be home late tonight, basically in the morning. But maybe Terrence can handle that after we come from the DJ meeting or whatever. So, yeah, y'all. They kind of bummed about that because they had a ball in that pool, especially Akila. she loved it. And the boys didn't even get a chance to get in it because, like I said, they were gone last weekend when it was the girls, when Naya's party. So, by the time they came back home, what was that, Sunday? No, they came home. Yeah, Sunday, the pool was like that. So, they haven't even gotten a chance. But even if they need some more floaties, and I think their old ones are in the trash or gone. Well, I know they're gone. So, we they can't get in there until we get them that because... They can stand in the water, and the water will come, probably come up to their chest. Especially to leaks. That's how high the pool was. But if they sit down, it's covering both of their faces. And, you know, that's when I knew. Because when I saw Yanni sitting down, and that water was all up here floating, I said, oh, no. What's not fair? Y'all, Keela's over here saying uh, something ain't fair. What's not fair? Just tell them. Everybody want to know. It's not fair that Yanni always gets to go somewhere. Well, and it's time to redo your hair. I'll do it tomorrow night. So you could take that down soon. Now? 
No, just take it down tomorrow. You don't have to take it down now. It's itchy. It is. You need to wash your hair. That's the only thing, y'all. Natural hair fuzzes up so quick. She's only... How long you had this up? Two weeks? Two weeks. So, y'all, her hair is all fuzzed. But, is that my phone ringing? Whose phone is that? Oh. Um... So yeah, I have to do her hair often. I tried to do her braids small, but it's like, even when I do her braids small, it doesn't matter. It starts to frizz. And I mean, I had edge control, but a, a lady of mine that's in this house that touches all my stuff used it up. This, this was mine. I bought this to do a wash and go for a YouTube video. Guess what? Can't do it now unless I buy some more. She used my entire thing. Not the entire. I used this maybe twice to slick up my hair when I wore a puff. Twice, maybe three times at the most. I'll give it to you three times. I don't even use that much. She did this. So now, you know, I gotta buy me some more. I have to hide my Let stuff. Me. No, I'm not buying you anymore. No, my, my, my other eco Honey, lasts for sweetie, a, uh, sweetie. A no, you, no. I am not. I refuse to buy you any other eco styler gel. Why? Naya, do you know how quick you use hair products up? Mama. I bought her edge control. A big thing of Murray's edge control. And I told her I was Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. And she bought it for my edge. Y'all. No, that mama. She, that I used to have that. I had it for six, or five to six months because I put it on my edges. It's and edge control. It's something. edge control. No. She put oh it God. all over her head and, and hair used hair it up too. within a week. A big thing of edge it control. It's not big. Y'all know how smart and Murray edge controls is. No, no, no. That's not smart. Now, do you know how many people have long people? No, I told you part? I was going to need it for my mm -mm. own head. And then, for my edges, then you know? I bought her her own eco styler gel with the and red it top. For a month. With the red top. Y'all, I have the receipt from when I bought it. I bought it at the, the last, the second to the last week of May. It is June 1st. Her, her her gel has no, been gone. No, just ran out for a, a week ago. A week? That's horrible. My that's horrible. No. Do y'all understand how horrible that is? Like she uses product too much. Y'all, if I if if stuff. companies send me stuff to review, that's not it. that's not. What about all my edge controls for first <laughs> touchdown? Honey, please. No, I if like company, edge controls. But they weren't for you to open, and that company sent that to be reviewed, Naya. Let me well, tell y'all something. Me. From now on, Naya, but it's messing up my business with companies. Like, from now on, when companies send me stuff, and it's like stuff like that, or shampoo, because my bundles, she don't mess, well, let me take that back, because she even takes my weave. <laughs> so, <laughs> and it don't even match her hair texture. Because you know, I make wigs, so you can't see my hair texture under here. But from now on, I have to, to do whether it's clothing reviews because we totally two different sizes but this girl will make a way to find uh a way to turn my outfit into something she can fit and wear i have to start doing that as soon as possible with anything because even though i like that beauty room this child finds a way she finds a way god she finds a way so that's why I was like, okay, I'll buy her her own gel, her own edge control. Stuff gone in within a week or two. It's ridiculous. No, well, buy me some more and I can put I'm not buying you no more. She does her hair every single day. Multiple times in one day. No, once per day. Girl, please. I might just slick my edge. She, my she, when I tell you day. she's in the bathroom in the morning, she's in the bathroom at night, she's in the bathroom on weekends, multiple days. <laughs> It's crazy. No, yeah, it's crazy. Y'all know natural hair girls. Y'all get what I do. Yeah, I'm a natural hair girl, but even when I wear my hair, I wore my hair for two Mommy, whole weeks. Wear your hair. But I wore, I wore my hair for two whole weeks. Do I do is braid this one? Naya, have I had my hair in a bun? Have I had my hair in a high puff? I've had yeah. my hair in a high puff for two weeks, and y'all, I yeah, use and a little 
bitch of edge control. Tie my scarf on. Wake up and I'm good to go. What you mean my hair is thinner than yours? Did you see how puffy my puff was? Yeah, but mom, your hair is longer. My hair is thinner than yours. Your hair is puffy. And your hair is the same consistency and thickness of mine. No, it's just shorter. Right. Don't try it, boo boo. No. Don't try it. Okay. No, so, anyway, y'all. How's everybody doing out there? It's not an argument, it's a debate. A debate argument. A very friendly, a friendly, healthy debate. Don't you agree? Okay, so I found a, um, a request for a question of the day from a subscriber by the name of B Loved and not B Love from B Love's Life. But she said her question that she suggested was what song will be played as I walk down the other, uh, well, okay, what now? What song will be played as you walk down the aisle at your dream wedding and what song will you dance to at the reception? She says, she says, I will walk down to I'm dreaming. Reception song will be nothing has ever felt like this. Rochelle, uh, Farrell and Will Downing. Rochelle Farrell, or is that it? And Will Downing. Okay. So, I guess it's a question of the day for y'all based on what she suggested. What did, what song did you walk down the aisle to when you got married? And if you are not married, what song would you want to walk down the aisle to? Um, would it be just the normal wedding little, what's it called? The, the I forgot what it's called. And I know I start with an M, I think. Yeah, I'm not slow, but I'll be having brain farts and stuff. But what uh, song did you walk down to um, on your wedding? And if you're, like I said, if you're not married, what would you want to? What would be your, you know, the perfect song for you? But the camera's about to die, so answer that question, and I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye, loves.